What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the changes to Crystal Weapon and Daedric Curse. These were some of the uh, final combat changes of the public test server. And of course this is, you know, we're getting right here to the last week of it. And a lot of people expect to see not really any changes when it comes to the last couple weeks of the public test server. But this entire cycle for the Lost Depths uh, chapter has been kind of interesting because Zoss has been changing a lot of things for combat just in general, whether it be ability skills, uh, even you know things like light attacks and, and heavy attack weaving, all that kind of stuff. And, and it's been a very interesting time because there's been a lot of things that have been changed and the next week they'll be changed right back. But this week, I think a lot of sorcerer players, a lot of players like to use sorcs, will kind of be happy with some of the changes Zoss decided to make. Crystal Weapon will now do 45% of the original hit's damage rather than 30%. And Daedric Curse will buff your pet's damage by 45% instead of 20%. So that's going to be kind of interesting to see how people decide to use Crystal Weapon and Daedric Curse. The Daedric Curse one kind of interests me just to see uh, if those, like I've talked about in some past videos, those heavy attack builds actually come back. There was a, a time there for several months where a lot of Sork players were using both pets with a lightning staff, heavy attack builds, doing some serious damage. So I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how Sork players kind of take you know the Crystal Weapon buff and the Daedric Curse buff and use it to their advantage when update 35 is released. I'm also kind of curious to see exactly what Zoss is going to do going forward. When it comes to how attacks work you know a lot of people talking about heavy attacks being kind of could possibly be meta for some builds in update 35 but there's also been a lot of talks of medium attack builds and a medium attack build is pretty much just when you hit the button for a heavy attack as soon as you see that heavy attack start you let your hand you know off that button and you're going to see kind of a, a medium attack there so it's not really light attack weaving and it's not an entire heavy attack it's more of a medium attack build I'm not sure if Zoss is going to allow that to go on, you know, through the entire, you know, up of, of the life cycle of update 35 before the next update comes out. I know the uh, there was a lot of in-game players that were, you know, testing the medium attack build, but I thought it was very interesting that Daedric Curse and Crystal Weapon did get a buff. We also saw a few other things get changed within this week's patch notes for update 35 for the public test server i'll talk about those quickly surprise attack did get a nerf uh, you will now still get that guaranteed critical strike when you're flanking an enemy but there's also a cool down on that of four seconds you won't be able to just attack an enemy you know each individual enemy one after another if you're flanking them and be able to get that guaranteed critical strike you'll have to wait four seconds between each attack also dark cloak has been changed yet again it will now scale from your maximum health instead of your missing health. This has been something Zoss has been going back and forth on for a while now. But it looks like Dark Cloak is maybe kind of where they want it to be. Also, there were a few small changes to Radiant Destruction, Screaming Cliff Racer, Arctic Wind, and Impelling Shards for Wardens. No more changes to Empower, even though over the last few weeks that's kind of been a hot topic in the community how the Empower buff is going to work now. And that is really why a lot of people, like I said, are talking about medium and heavy attack builds for the next update. And like I said, I'm really curious to see how all of these combat changes kind of, you know, change the meta in update 35. Will medium attack and heavy attack builds be a thing again? Uh, you know, will Sorks all running pets still be a thing? And it seems like that's going to be the case. That's one thing I'm not really happy with. I, the first character I ever made seven years ago on PlayStation uh, was a Sork. And... At the time, I didn't have to use a pet, and that was I really enjoyed the class. And ever since, really, uh, pets have really gotten back into kind of being the you know thing to run for more damage. I know they're kind of annoying. I really don't like them. I know some people out there do, but it seems like with these changes and the changes to you know light attacks and heavy attacks and, and like medium attack builds now being a thing, uh, it looks like some of the changes that Zoss has made in combat in general really help some classes. And it may kind of hurt some other classes. So leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts about what do you think about this last week of the public test server? What do you think about all the combat changes that Zoss has implemented and all the changes just in general that they have done uh, within update 35's uh, test server time? Like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.